welcome to another blowdown episode. Um, unfortunately, no spearfishing due to all the southeast wind that we've been having. So the water is cold and the water is very dirty. So we're not going to be spearfishing soon. But hopefully in a couple of days the west will be blowing and then we will get some cleaner and hotter water and then we'll be able to jump in. At the moment, reports are that the water is around about 10, 11 degrees and that's very cold compared to our normal 17, 18 degrees that we're looking for for good fishing. Okay, so what we are going to do in the meantime, we're going to be going uh, fishing for cop, cop yo tonight. Me and Quentin's going to go fish for in, in Nisner Estuary. So I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, cop and grunter setup for estuary fishing. So um, I'm going to focus more, this episode we're going to focus more on cop, but we're going to use a little bit smaller hook so that if there is a grunter in the vicinity, that the grunter can also pick up the bait. We're going to, uh, we're going to talk about more about the bait when we get on the boat. I'm firstly going to talk about the the rods and reels that we're using and then I'm going to be talking about all the um, hooks and swivels and sinkers and all that kind of stuff that we're using. So you might have seen this. Um, this is a Gully Master. It is the 5, 8 to 15 pounds Gully Master, uh, Jarvis Walker Gully Master rod. Okay, it is a 7 foot rod and then paired with that I'm using the Shimano 100G, TR 100Gs. Okay, I, they don't make these um, anymore. It's got a little level winder here, so you don't need to wind the line, it winds and uh, goes by itself. Um, yeah, these are very, very nice rods and reels. Um, the 100Gs and the 200Gs, you'll see uh, we've got 200Gs as well. And uh, yeah, that's the setup that we, we're going to be using tonight um, when we fish in the dark. Okay, and then... Um, the, let's start with the leader line. I've got three leader lines, different classes. Okay, so I've got the 5.5. It's always the Maxima Ultra Green that I'm using. Um, I've got 5.5, 7, and then for cob I've got 17 kgs. These cob that we're using, uh, the, the line I'm going to be using for the cob is a 17 kilogram. Um, it's not a very thick leader line that we're using. It's a 0.57 because the cob in Nisner seldom goes over 10 kilos. So we're looking at that 7, 8 kilogram um, fish. Uh, the reason that we're fishing if we're finishing for granted, we use a five or a seven kilogram line. Is they are very skittish. Once they feel, once they pick up the bait and they feel it, then they tend to disappear. Um, so that you want a very very thin line um, when you're fishing for granted. So the cop not so not so so picky, but the grunt is very picky. So that's why we're going as light as possible for the cop, so that if there is a grunter in the vicinity, they will also pick up pick up the line. Um, then we've got normal swivels. Um, okay. We use the cone sinker for a very simple reason. If you use a ball sinker, the ball sinker rolls and it can roll anywhere. A cone sinker can only roll like that. So it will only roll around and around and around. It doesn't go anywhere. So that's why we use a cone sinker to fish estuary. Um, yeah, it, as long as I've been fishing estuaries, we've been using the cone sinker. I know there's, there's many other methods. Guys, this is not... Uh, this is the method that, that we fish or I fish so this is not the ultimate there's other ways there's many other ways to fish I'm just telling you what what I've been using um, and it's worked a lot for me uh, tonight we're going to use a 4-0 circle hook once again the cob has got big mouths so if we use a 4-0 we can target those smaller cobs as well as there you can see the, the circle hook we can target the smaller cob as well as the bigger size grunters. That's the species that we're going for. So let's start with a circle hook. I'm going to show you how to tie a circle hook because it's actually a specific way for the circle hook. Okay, 70 centimeters round right over there. You're looking at your um, leader line for your hook. Okay, then you're going to take the one end, you're going to push it in the back. Then you're going to wind it on the stem. Wind on the stem. Okay, then you're going to take it from the back again and push it through from the back. Okay, so now you can pull it tight. So the hook in the water is lying like that. Once the fish bites, it goes and it sits in the, in the hook. It sits in the corner of the fish's mouth. It sets in the corner and pulls tight. Okay, so and by not tying a knot, you want it to lie like that because now the fish will come, it will bite, and it sets in the corner of the mouth. Okay, and there's no knot in the line. 
Guys, so that's how we tie a circle look. And then on the other end, you're gonna use this little swivel. Um, and in that one, I'm gonna use a normal figure eight. Okay, so you're gonna struggle to see that because the line is another color. But I'm gonna try and show you the figure eight. Okay, there you can see, I don't know if you can see the figure eight there. Wet your line, so it doesn't burn the line. Okay, very important tip here. Cut your, cut your um, pieces very short. Make sure that there's no edges sticking out because that's the parts that hook and everything. Okay, once again, figure eight um, is, is um, the tighter the line pulls, the tighter the knot pulls. Okay, so that's, that one can't get out there. Okay, so it's a 70 centimeter hook line. And then we're going to use the um, same leader for a sliding sinker. Okay, I'm going to explain now why we use a sliding sinker. But this is a 3 ounce cone sinker. You can go a little bit lighter depending on your tackle. But um, yeah, we're going to go 3 ounce today. Again, tie it with your figure 8. With the line. Snip off the in as close as possible okay a little swivel on the other side same figure eight knot figure eight on the other side again as close as you can to the knot snip it off okay so there's my my sliding sinker Okay, so now I'm going to take my line and I'm going to show you the sliding sinker. For those newbies, the older dogs will, will know exactly why we use a sliding sinker. Okay, so... Okay, so there you insert your line on the swivel for the sliding sinker and then your sinker will be able to slide. Okay, now tie your hook. Again with a figure eight. The line that I'm using here is die white. It's around about 10 kgs of line. Uh, we're not fishing heavy. We're fishing very light tackle. Okay, so there's your figure eight. With your line. There we go. Okay, so now when this is lying in the water with a bait, like that. If the fish picks up the line, this is going to happen and the line will run through the sinker. So the fish is going to catch himself, especially because we're night fishing. The circle hook does its work. Maybe you fell asleep and the circle hook is doing its work. The fish is eating and it's running away with a bait. It's getting enough time to swallow the hook um, and to catch himself. So it's not like you're sitting on a deep sea where it's up and down. We got the rod in your hand and you can strike. Um, you're probably sitting and, and um, having a burros roll or, or some cool drink and then the fish can catch itself okay so that's the setup that we're going to be using tonight um, later on i'll show you what the bait is and how we present the bait and everything uh, all the stuff like that okay guys so um yeah we are here at the slip in Neisner and it is absolutely picture beautiful tonight um yeah, it's Look at that. Just look at how pretty that is. Guys, okay, so Quinn is getting busy, uh, busy getting the boat ready. But this is absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at that. Okay, there's a little cabin boat for the night. Um, it is Quinn, uh, it's a Crusader. It's a Crusader. And we've got a 44 stroke Yamaha on it. Yeah, he's uh, the legendary Quentin Rall. Hello, hello. <laughs> Kona is definitely one of the best anglers in the area. Uh, whether you are talking about shark fishing, estuary fishing, um, not spear fishing, he's too scared of the sharks. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, whether you're talking rock and surf, um, boat fishing, deep sea fishing, he's done it all, he knows it all. Uh, yeah, Kona is an extremely good angler. So yeah, Kona is going to show me around tonight. Uh, I haven't been estuary fishing for quite some time now. 
and uh, Kona has been very successful the last couple of months so he's going to show us how he baits up and rigs up and uh, yeah hopefully he can show you a couple of grunters and cop so I'm quickly going to get up Kona get the boat ready and uh, yeah then we are off Okay guys, so we haven't finished putting in all the rods. You can see uh, Quentin still putting in the rods. And uh, we've already got our first fish on. Feels like a decent fish. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice head shakes there. Um, yeah, it's very dark. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you. I'll put on as much light as I can. And uh, hopefully I can show you something of the fish. But uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult yeah it's going all over all the lines now and uh oof, gonna have to go underneath all the lines now oh there it goes there it goes oh let me get it underneath all the lines first <sighs> hey there it is okay once it starts fighting close to the boat oh there it goes close to the boat Put the light this way. Let's see if we can see anything. Don't know how much we're going to be able to see on the camera. But, uh, oh, yeah, hello, hello. Okay, so the next problem we have is we don't have a net. <laughs> so, Kuna, how are we going to get the fish in the boat? Gaff. Gaff. Oh, okay, we've got a gaff. So, we're not catching and releasing today. <laughs> we'll try. If it's, if it's a decent fish, we need some fish for Christmas, then uh, we'll take it. Otherwise, um, we are we we are allowed to take a couple of these fish. So, ooh, my word, it is a beautiful fish. Jeez, I don't know how much of that you saw. What the fish is that, Kuna? Check it. That is a huge grunt. Guys, we were here for about half an hour. That is a monster of a grunter. <laughs> oh my word. Yes! I want to get Okay. Uh, okay, so guys, um, for those of you who was wondering if Quinta knows what he's doing. Quinta knows Quinta knows what he's doing. <laughs> just look at that fish after um, yeah, just a couple of minutes here. We've got this beautiful fish. I'm gonna try and pick it up for you. Okay, granted, as I've warned you before, a lot of spikes. So just <laughs> look at that fish. Just look at that fish, guys. 
<laughs> beautiful grunter. That's a beautiful grunter. Okay, there you can see the little piece of choka in the mouth. And uh, yeah, little circle look like I explained to you. If you check that, in the corner, right in the corner, like I explained to you this afternoon, that's why we use circle looks. Right in the corner, little 4 o circle look there in the corner. And uh, yo, what a way to start the evening. Beautiful, Decent -ish. beautiful grunter. Okay, yeah, that's probably 3k coin. Yeah. Oh, probably a 3k case. fish first one for the night okay yo so there's christmas dinner for somebody <laughs> okay guys so it's just around about what in a company kite okay sorry about that it's just um around about half past three in the morning and i've picked up something really really nice here Quentin is um, having a nap here in the cabin so uh, yeah I'm gonna try my best to show you what it is oh, uh, let me get the light here yeah. okay there we go okay so um, yeah uh, definitely a grunter so typical of a grunter is when it comes close to the boat it starts diving and it starts going crazy so again on the choker oh almost saw it there um, okay i've got another line here with me i think it's the brown line okay oh it's another very beautiful grunter okay this one swallowed everything no, it's in the corner again. Oh, let me quickly get it for you. Oh, come here, Mr. Grunter. Hey, man. Here we go. It's another beautiful, nice no Grunter. Oh, and uh, as you can see, that little circle look right there in the corner of the mouth again. Like I showed you. Oy. And there is another beautiful Nisna Grunter. Oy. Okay, so we are allowed to keep five each, that's the quota, 40 centimeters. But yeah, we're not going to keep five each. Um, but this is only the third one we've caught. And we've got a lot of family to feed, so this one is definitely going in the bag. Hello, Quina. My grand turkey. Okay, guys, so I'm on here with another. This one feels actually the biggest of the lot. Oh, this is a nice fish. Guys, okay, so I'm on here with another very nice fish. Oh, yeah, hello, this is a nice fish, guys. Oh. Okay, it's around about four o'clock now and this is a very very nice size fish Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay huh yeah it's all right was a way anywhere I'm just trying to get it away from the Anchor line, oh man, we're going into the anchor line now. I'm just trying to play it away from the oh, in the anchor line. The kiss, ah, thank you. See, too much, too much. I do, ah, ah, so right, I see anchor line it. Oh, now I need to go. Oh, you know what side you want to be. Let's try and take him this side. See if we can get him away from the anchor line first. Looks like we've got him over the anchor. There we go, over the anchor. What? It doesn't look that big. No, it's a nice size. 
Hey, 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 come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. So, I'm gonna show you quickly. This one we're gonna put back. I'm not gonna put my hand in his gills. Even if it's a nice fish. Hey! Troublemaker. Okay, so after a very busy evening, we caught six grunters last night. Um, it's morning now, and I'm quickly going to show you how we the, the bait that we used. Okay, so this is your normal choker. That is a choker head, just uh, cut into pieces. So I'm going to use one of those um, choker head pieces, and then we've got bait cotton. What I do is I take the bait cotton and I tie the piece of chocker head so it makes a nice long string strip okay so once I've got that in a nice strip I add a piece mm, let's cut a new piece and then I just take a strip of chocolate like that oh nice and messy I just take a piece of chocolate just like that oh those old stories slippery now and I just add it to the piece of head. So I've got a little piece of chocker head there. And uh, then I've got the chocker strip. Ooh, nice and messy. And I make sure that I put enough cotton close to the edge here because that's actually where I'm going to anchor my hook. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this whole thing off so that you can actually see how it looks. It seems like we've got another bite here. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to rinse this my hands and the bait. There you can see the bite a little bit later. Okay, and all that we do is now we take that 4 0 circle hook and we make sure that we get enough cotton. So it's an and that's our bite. Okay, so that's a good bite for um yeah, there's your bite. Okay, you can see it's nice and big bite. So if a cob comes along, you will be able to catch a cob or a big size grunter we're not going for small grunters so that's why we have a nice big bait okay another tip that I can give you get your line as far away uh, from the boat as possible that's why we're using three ounce sinkers like I explained um, with the gear that we're using especially if you're fishing for a grunter um, get your line far as away as possible from the boat um, the water from the spear fishing realize the water that is traveling underneath uh, the boat in the current the tide that's pushing in and out that's that water that's on your anchor line makes a lot of noise then the further you can get your your bait away from your anchor line the better um, from your boat especially a skittish fish like a grunter um, if you can get the bait a little bit further away from the boat it normally helps a lot okay so i'm gonna continue checking all the baits quickly and then hopefully i can get another grunter in daylight so that i can show you how, how we catch a grunter in daylight okay so after a long night of fishing uh we are gonna call it quit it's just after five five in the morning now um we're just getting everything packed away so guys i showed you 
The gear that we used, I showed you the bait we used. Hopefully you can see some of the fish that we caught. We managed to land six grunters during the night. So hopefully you could see some of that. Uh, and hopefully the gear and the bait and everything um, can help somebody out. It's not something that I've done before, uh, catching grunter on choker but yeah it does work um, we managed to land one very very nice one and the others were all all decent size all size but yeah we we um it's very misty this morning and nice and it's beautiful but the water is very calm and the wind is calm so yeah we're quickly gonna pack everything up and um, then we're gonna head back home clean a couple of fish that we caught uh, we each kept two for ourselves and uh, yeah, then tonight I'm going to have a nice fish pie with the family.